Hello guys, this is Andy from Mooncake Visual and in this time I'm coming with a simple tutorial about how can we use the QuickBP controller onto an already existing project I mean, if you got a previously created project you can just migrate the assets from the QuickBP controller project to your project so you can use the controller Okay, the first thing we need to do is just go to our QuickBP controller folder. So we, in the Epic Launcher in your library, we just right click on it and then show in folder. So we need to copy the plugins folder into the root of our new of our previously created project. So I just created a an empty project to show you. So the same, right click, show in folder. In the root, I just paste the plugin folder. So you see. Just, just copy from the QuickBP controller to the new project. So now I'm gonna open the QuickBP controller project. Awesome. When it's open, we got here the template project. What we can do is we can just go to the content folder. Quick BP Maker Content. We right click on it. We just might click on Migrate. Then we will see the list of the assets that will be migrate. We hit OK. Then we go to our to our project to our project folder. So in this case, it's this. This is the empty I created. You can see. And we go to the content folder. So hit on the content, and then we select that folder. You see the content migration completed successfully. So now what we are gonna do, we're gonna close this for now, and then we're gonna open our project. Awesome. So now we should have in the content folder, we should have the QuickBP Maker content folder. And if we go to add to edit plugins, we scroll down here all the way down in projects, we should have the Socket IO client. But also we need to make sure that we enable the Composure. We go to built-in and then we type Composure. It's enabled. In this case I just already enabled it, but you need to enable M Media Framework. The utilities and the IO. So they are enabled. Awesome. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create a comp in the if you don't see that the composure window we just go to window and composure compositing then in that window which which i already have here i just right click on it and i just create a new composition let me just empty comp slot let me call it output awesome now i need to add a layer element which will be a media plate which is basically the foreground good and also let me just rename it by pressing F2 you can rename elements so FG plate and also right click on output add layer element and the CG layer so let me call it BG plate good so what we're gonna do now we're gonna set our new FG plate which is basically the capture of our talent what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the Quick Maker content folder and then to BP we're gonna drag and drop a capture camera BP this is the camera that captures our actor so we need to have this always on the scene awesome now let's try just dragging a uh, talent BP for now uh, I ain't got no material so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now I'm just going to adjust the floor offset so good now in the capture camera BP I'm just going to its components you see the okay where is it okay I'm here so in the capture camera BP you see camera settings the render target we're gonna have to go to the quick BP make content and materials you see, it says main FG capture target. So we just click on it and drag there, or we can just click on it and click here in the arrow. So it will take it. Good. Now we're gonna go to the to our FG plate. 
we're into the composure we're gonna go to input input you see it says media texture input we're gonna change it to texture input and then we're just gonna pick the same you can drag and drop or just click on it and click in the arrow it's the same awesome now the next thing we need to do is to set up the background capture in this case we need to ignore the main actor to be captured so to do that we're just gonna create a new layer wind so we're gonna go to window layers in this window we're gonna create a new layer which will be called actors uppercase a actors s at the end awesome good let me just move it here i'd rather have it there so in our big with our big plate selected we just go to our composure again let me just in input we're gonna go capture actors we're gonna hit there in the plus sign we got, we're gonna in two members we're gonna select exclude and then we're gonna choose actors because we need to exclude the capture the actors so awesome now if we go to the output we still see nothing because we haven't set the material so we select our main composition output I call it output but you can call it whatever you want in transform transfer passes you see there we're gonna we're gonna click on the plus sign custom material pass and then we're gonna choose in the clippy maker content materials you should see comp mat you see you choose it we got comp mat and now we get input elements so in fg we select our fg plate and bg we select our we select our bg plate good so also in output we need to change in input to be our capture camera good so now it's dark so you see the fg play and the bg play what we can do let's just import some test footage i'm just going to the quick bp i'm just gonna get some footage Okay, I just imported my footage and created a new media player and then I just opened this file with the with the media player. So we're gonna choose our talent BP for now and then in media in material media player I'm gonna drag this here and then in the URL I'm gonna choose this URL and I'm gonna open here. Good. Now the next step will be uh, I'm going to create a, I'm going to use a material so this time I'm gonna enable view option show engine content I need to make sure that show engine content is enabled and here I'm gonna look for gear as you can see material tem templates chroma key in we got am um, color difference gear I use it a lot so I'm gonna create some material instance girl mat so awesome in that instance, I'm just going to. Oh. And that, where is it? Uh oh. Okay, let me just get it again. Kian, Chroma Kian, I got it. In that instance, I'm just going to move it here to my content folder. Move here, I'm content. Oh. Uh, where is it? Oh my gosh, where I put that? Oh, okay, so let me just move it here. Okay, 
and that material I'm just going to drag and drop it here the material instance okay I'm just going to double click on that and the texture I'm gonna pick this I'm gonna select this texture and I'm gonna click on the arrow and we got this texture so I'm gonna just leave it like that for now good so I got this in my output I just make sure the output I go to my composure output I just output I'm gonna add a slot and that will be to my player viewport so I can so it output this composure to the viewport awesome now if I hit play and press D nothing happens it's black so why because there's something I'm missing here if I go to my FG plate in composure I'm gonna go to transform you see I got these three three passes so I'm gonna delete get rid of them and let's gonna add a custom material pass and then I'm gonna go to the material folder and invert alpha so there we go we got our invert alpha awesome now we should see this we say up oh. let me hit play now if I press D nothing happens okay sorry guys uh what happened is that uh i need to go to window because i forgot that part i'm sorry to where settings in the game mode we need to set the game mode overdrive to our game mode which is in the quake bp maker bp so that game mode is uh where is it broadcast mode so i just broadcast mode also i need to take uh let me just create a folder into the outliner let me create a uh, quick bp stuff okay so i need to drag the socket io controller in the socket io controller you see i got the i leave it like that and and the project name uh project test or test project or whatever i'm gonna move it to my quick bp stuff also, I'm gonna drag my my video controller so far. I'm gonna to drag it here. Good. I'm gonna drag my extra programs. Also, I'm gonna move there. Also, I'm gonna take my no. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Good. So if I hit play, I press D. We got our talent guy. So let's try the dragging a camera an operator camera which will be called um uh, here here you see in the broken b we're gonna call it um camera test i'm just going rename it f2 test camera 2 and then I'm just going to go to that camera, test camera, and let me position it, whatever, just to test it. So, awesome. Good. Now, remember, you need to adjust this. Oh my god, okay, I clicked it. You can adjust this. Like the floor offset, and there we go. Now if I hit play, I press D, press 1 to see my first camera, I got it. Now, let's open the Quick BP controller to see if that works. Now if I hit play here, we should have, there you go, we got project test, we got our talent, and we got our camera. And now you see, our project is working. And, you know, the workflow to create, like, triggers and events, it's basically the same. So, nothing changes. So, let's just create some tests. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go just to extra programs. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me close it. We're gonna go to here into extra programs. I'm going to create a test program. Um, program type that will be zero. Description, testing program and uh, let's now let's hit play 
Alt P, I just hit Alt P. If I go to the controller, we got our program here. So everything worked as expected. Uh, okay, guys, so that basically it. Uh, I hope you like the this quick tutorial. If you feel my voice different, it's just because I have a little flu. But I hope it doesn't bother you. So if you have any questions, don't forget to join Discord or even WhatsApp me. I'll be there to help you guys. So thank you very much for coming and have a wonderful day.